So tell me, you, you work with, uh, of course, you've got some uh, specialized camera. Yes. Uh, I'm, of course, as a hardware vendor, I'm interested in to your feedback into what capacity storage you need, where are your bottlenecks, because I'm sure we got the same issues, actually. So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the biggest, the first hurdle you have to jump is the cameras uh, have definitely gotten better and better, as well as the resolution gotten better and better. But the flip side to that is that you now run into more bottlenecks because of the size of the files. Uh, right now, my 8K camera, my 360 camera, is a two-lens KuCam, uh, uh, KuCam Enterprise, 8K Enterprise, and it records 8K 10-bit color. So those are really big files. In fact, the I'm using a 512-gig uh, SD micro SD card mm -hmm. in there to capture. And then with my VR180, Canon just came out with a lens uh, that attaches to two of their models. And I'm using the R5C. And then again, I've got 8-bit, uh, rather 8K, 12-bit color with that. And I'm shooting RAW. Okay. And so it is huge files. Uh, the CF Express card that I have to use on the camera, it's a one terabyte and it only holds 53 minutes worth of video. Okay. And so you then have to get that drop down and there's a big bottleneck when you're trying to capture that to your laptop in the field. Mm. Um, you know, you're having to work with, if you're gonna have any kind of time to get things done, you have to work with uh, Thunderbolt in order to get the transfer speeds. I see, I see. Then once you get it onto the hard drives, the way that I go ahead and store things is I have two sets of drives for each set of video that I create. One is a main, one is a backup. Because it, one thing that you realize early on in this business is hard drives are temporary storage. They're not permanent. Mm -hmm. They will fail. And strange things can happen. So, you know, a hard drive falls, it's, you know, it gets, the, the file gets corrupted, the hard drive crashes. Mm -hmm. So you've got to keep backups. And I've gone from 500 gig hard drives to where now um, I just I'm just getting in a 14 terabyte Seagate uh, Iron Wolf Pro today and I'm going to start transitioning into these monster sized drives okay. which is great because up until now it's been 5 terabyte has been like the biggest size and I'm still archiving my stuff onto two small drives but they're excellent little drives they're very durable and i knock on wood mm -hmm. i haven't had any crashes with them but again having two sets it makes it it's so secure i, I mean, mean the only time you worry about it is when you're transferring the information because then they're both hooked up at the same time how do you work when you do the uh, video processing or editing uh... well when you're talking about 8k it almost doesn't matter how big your computer is i've got an i9 intel processor uh, 12th generation, we're only now getting into the 13th generation. Um, and, you know, it's fast, but it can even live stream 8K. You've got to go ahead and create proxies. So now you're adding even course, more yeah. storage. Yeah. And then you've got to process it. And then sometimes you have to bring it out and do some post effects. So you may do some sharpening and denoising. And then that takes sometimes overnight in order to get the, 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 uh, the video completed. Yeah, so see. there's lots of challenges, shall we say, mm -hmm. in I can see, working yeah. with it. I mean, you, you, you told me, we, had, we met yesterday, you told me yes. that you work in the Red 1 or Red 0, you work? Yes, RAID 0 is what I use for actually doing the editing okay. because I need that fast speed. Mm -hmm. I need that to be able to, in order to, even even with the 4K uh, and even 2K proxies that I create, and once I start adding effects to it, that weighs it down and slows it down. In order to keep it going fast, you know, that's how I have to do things. Mm -hmm. So the RAID 0 is the fastest that you can you. get. Okay. Um, but then again, also, it's going back and forth between the two drives. If your RAID fails, yeah. You're in trouble. So what we do at Fabulitics, we usually in security, we work in the RAID 5 or RAID 6. Yes. We got much more hard drives to play with. So uh, you got one big chunk of file on your side. Right. And uh, actually, uh, in sec security, we got multiple camera with small bandwidth. Right. But at the end, bottleneck is the same thing. So yeah. we need to be able to record everything in one place right. without missing any frame. 
So we challenge in there, and then when you add your uh, uh, image processing or when you do some special effects, then in our case, we got video analytics guys right. who need GPU running at the same time. So you need to keep writing at the same time, yes. but be able to process it at the same time. I was thinking that with your experience and everything, actually, we find out that actually we have exactly the same bottlenecks. Yes. And we can talk, we talk exactly the same language, mm -hmm. but we are from different industries. Yes. We use the same component. Yep. And that's actually why uh, that discussion is really, uh, 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 for me, entertaining because I came from that field before. And I can see that uh, uh, what you say, it's not, I mean, it's totally relevant for us. Yes, you know? absolutely. It's very, very similar that, you know, you may not have to do the special effects that I do and you may not be shooting in 3D, but you're still, it's still data and it's data flow. Yeah. And you've got to keep a good, strong connectivity to keep everything moving smoothly.